Well, here is a look from our Skyview 22 camera at the Homewood Suites on the river. Scott, you like it? It looks good out there. <laughs> I love it. It's a great picture. I tell you what, quiet picture out there as well. Of course, it's a Sunday evening. It was a Saturday evening that uh, Bay and Broad Street view there uh, would be a little more active. Now, uh, what can we see going forth in time? Some quiet weather and look at this beautiful sunset tonight on Tybee Island. Sent in uh, to us from our chief meteorologist Jeremy Nelson. He was out and about this weekend enjoying the outdoor weather. I hope you were as well. So let's talk weather. Send me some photos if you have them uh, at Scott Sumner WJCL and follow and tweet me there or at Facebook at Scott Sumner WJCL 22. We'd love to see the pictures. Now today's high 84 degrees. That should fall perfectly in with the average high of 84 and that's after Fairly mild start, 65 degrees, a couple degrees warmer than the average should be. The record 98 set back in 1967 on this date, and this is one of the warmest starts to a summer at this location back in 1967. 67 was a pretty warm year, I guess, when it started out with 98 degrees in mid-May. Temperatures, well, right now we're looking at temperatures of 69 in Savannah, Ridgeland 67, Hampton 68, Pembroke at 66. How about 70 over at Baxley, 72 at Vidalia, same for Blackshear right now, 62 at Darien. And we'll have a, a day tomorrow which is going to be warm, but not well, not scal scorchingly hot. <laughs> we'll see temperatures into the upper 90s across the area, but I want to I, I don't usually show US maps, but I want to show you this big ridge here of high pressure and that's what's going to keep everybody pretty much from the central US through the southeast warm not only tomorrow but Tuesday and going into the next couple of days. You see the way the ridge kind of arcs up all the way Green Bay, Wisconsin, 82 degrees. So it is going to be warm from the Gulf Coast all the way up to the Canadian border and uh, that trend will continue throughout the week here in the southeast. Quiet weather. Beautiful weather, as a matter of fact, as you go all the way back to the central plain states, there are some showers and thunderstorms popping up in north central Texas, and there's still that spinning storm that affected us yesterday up in the New England states, but for us, we're not going to have to worry about any of that because high pressure is going to protect us over the next couple of afternoons and overnights as well, although it will warm us up as highs usually do. They cool us down initially with a northerly flow, and then they get out to sea and you get more of a southerly and southwesterly flow, and that's when you bring out back the heat and humidity across the area, and that's what's exactly going to happen this week. It is going to be a dry period. Tonight, we'll see temperatures comfortably into the upper 50s to the lower 60s. Alma at 60, 59 at Jessup, 63 at Darien. Moving a little further inland into the north, Sylvania at 58 degrees. And then over towards Pooler and Richmond Hill, a pair of 60 degree temperatures there in Bryan County, Pembroke at 57 degrees. Across the Savannah River, Ridgeland 59 degrees. And tomorrow, we'll see those numbers transition to the middle 80s along the coastline to up around the lower 90s, the furthest inland and southwestern viewing areas out towards Jeff Davis County and potentially uh, down towards uh, uh, Appling and Bacon County as well in Pierce County. So we're going to see a, a wide variety of temperatures. Now tomorrow it'll be lovely out on the beach. Uh, really no problems on the surf and even the, if you're going out on a boat tomorrow, waves are not going to be very choppy at all, only about, about two feet. Seven day forecast shows again Monday straight through the week. Friday looking dry. I put a slight chance of showers in for Saturday, but not thinking that's going to be much of anything at this point in time. And maybe a 30% chance of seeing a passing afternoon uh, sh diurnal shower and or thunderstorm on Sunday. But really, no major storm systems over the next seven days. Megan?